With My Hero Academia Season 4 right around the corner, there is nothing that I am more excited for than for the anime onlys to finally react to Bakugo dying because that was one of the most shocking scenes in manga history. I mean, a lot of people complain about his death, saying, Oh, it wasn't even that important. We're monumental. And well, in my boy Bakugo's defense, he did die to kill the UA traitor Kirishima. And this is right after we get to see how strong Kirishima is, where he crippled Kaminari for life. This is none of that token, oh, he died to a no-name villain. No, this was important. I wish Deku would have been there to help him and could have avoided everything, but unfortunately he was tied up fighting the League of Villains who were overpowering him until he drank Todoroki's piss to get fire and ice powers. Yeah, the whole arc was absolutely phenomenal, I have to say. Literally blew my mind a million times over. We already know Horikoshi is a Star Wars fan, but we did not expect to have the reverse Luke Darth Vader scene where Dobby says to Endeavor and Endeavor, you are my father. And then Endeavor says, no, right before Dobby killed him. The reference was a bit dead on, and honestly, I found Endeavor's death arguably even sadder than Bakugo's. So now, I have a question for you, the audience, because you know how YouTubers like to ask questions so that the audience can feel interactive and read the comments, even though the YouTubers re usually don't read the comments? Well, that is not what we're doing here. My question to you is, where along my completely asinine, ridiculous story that I came up with, did you realize that it's all a meme and that no none of that freaking happens at all because depending on where you started not believing it that correlates very closely to your meme ability rating which honestly is very very high so the reason why i'm actually making this video is because on twitter i was making stupid jokes about how bakugo is dead and of course i didn't straight out say damn bakugo died crazy chapter i was saying it in, like backhanded ways that like oops didn't mean to spoil that yeah right like my hero academia is gonna kill off Bakugo, the second to goddamn main character who has the most important thematic story in the entire series. As we know, the manga is ahead of the anime, so don't feel bad if you originally believed it for a second. In fact, other YouTubers did, which was very hilarious, and some other YouTubers continued memeing, which made it even funnier. Noble tweeted, man, can't wait to see the reaction of the MHA fans when Bakugo dies. Sid Snap tweeted how seeing Bakugo die literally made her break down, and Swag Kage DM'd me when I asked him how I can't believe he has no comment on Bakugo's surprising death. He says, honestly tragic to be honest. When he finally called Deku Izuku in his final breath, it really pulled on my heartstrings. So the community really came together on this one in a big way and honestly, very appreciated. Very awesome, Van. But what I find really funny is a lot of people don't take me seriously on Twitter because they know I meme a hell of a lot. So I didn't get that much hate until the tweet started blowing up and I got people that didn't know who I was commenting like, bro, that's a crazy spot. Spoiler! No way, I can't believe he died! Or the occasional, yes, F that sucker! <laughs> yeah, I got all types here, whether they believed it or not. And I don't really see how something like this can be believed. I mean, My Hero Academia is the story that couldn't even let Stain kill Ida's brother. But instead, oh, had to cripple him for absolutely no purpose. No characters died in My Hero Academia, at least no heroes. So saying Bakugo died should immediately be hit with skepticism. Now, the reason why I ended up making this entire video is A, I'm super proud of this meme. I think it's hilarious. And whenever I see someone upset at me, I have enough of a backbone to laugh instead of get reclusive based on hate comments. Call me a masochist, but some hate comments are goddamn hilarious. And B, I wanted to talk about meme culture in general and how it especially applies to a situation like this. I personally have not been on the internet forever, but I've been here long enough and I've enjoyed enough memes to know don't believe anything. I'm not just talking about memes. Whether you're right wing or left wing, both CNN and Fox News are half hogwash. If even the news can't be trusted and should be met with skepticism and cynicism, so should everything else. And that is where the beauty of memes come to play. A meme in general, the way I see a humor from memes, because let's be honest, a lot of memes are not funny. But the reason why memes are so adored, especially in this day and age, is because a meme is an inside internet joke. Memes die because once you get the joke, and everyone knows the joke, it's not such an inside joke anymore.
more, and that kills half the fun. When you see, as a simple example, one media reference a different media that you did not expect, it gets you so goddamn hyped. As a simple example of this, if I see an anime reference in any Western work, I feel like a pig in mud. I'm like, oh my god, Thanos just made a JoJo reference. In Thanos' defense, most people make JoJo references whether they know it or not, but the point is, just by getting the joke, that's already 80% of the humor of reference gag. Memes are a very inclusive kind of joke in that way. And since I just mentioned JoJo, for someone who didn't watch JoJo, I imagine JoJo memes are hell on earth. You do not get the references. I don't know why Dio walking towards Jotaro has become the most transcending meme of all time. But once you watch JoJo, every JoJo meme is a pleasure to behold. Even the basic Kono Dioda memes that the elite JoJo fans don't like anymore and prefer the Kono Giorno Giovanna Imayume Ga Aru memes. I understand you can be an evolved memester. Very cool. But the point is, understanding the reference is half the humor. And by the fact that in an internet society that we're based in for a lot of our lives, getting memes is its appeal. Now, why am I going on this tangent and what does it have to do with the fact that Bakugo dies in My Hero Academia Season 4? Well, this is a meme that was met by much hatred unbeknownst to me. Like, why would people be upset over this massive spoiler? I mean, I didn't even get it myself. So now, in my heart of hearts, I did sort of feel bad every time I saw a comment saying, man, that's so sad, why would you spoil that for me? Or people just genuinely sad that they think Bakugo dies. Even though I think that the meme should be met with skepticism, just like everything on the internet should be met with skepticism. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Never trust a YouTuber. It is in our best interest to lie to you sometimes. I am not to be trusted and neither is anyone else on this goddamn platform. Except for some people, like PewDiePie, I trust the guy. He's been open enough. But everyone else is emotionally manipulating you, goddammit! Except for me, of course. So definitely subscribe. Yeah. Best call to subscribe of all time from any YouTuber ever. Smash like! Let's see if we can get more likes than views on this video. And that was probably the best call to action to leave likes on the video ever as well. So I'm really nailing the YouTube game here. And while I would like to say that I originally started this whole Bakugo is dead meme because, well, it's actually secretly a social experiment. That's right. I am selflessly putting myself out there for the good of the community to gather the data necessary for my thesis. But I would be total bullcrap because that's not the case at all. I started doing this Bakugo is dead thing on Twitter mostly because, I don't know, I wanted to tweet something funny. So I took the most ridiculous far-fetched death in a relatively popular anime, plopped it out there, and, you know, my replies were just precious. I got the people that actually read the manga so they know that I'm joking. I got the people that know I'm a sarcastic asshole so they knew I was joking. And then I got the people that believed it, which I thought was kind of hilarious. I know, it's so mean. But while I did start it as a meme, and I did do a few of those tweets as memes saying, Oh, look at the key visual for the poster of My Hero Academia Season 4. You know why Bakugo's not in it? Because he did. Yeah, he's not in it because he's not in Season 4. Season 4 focuses on different characters in a different place. But still, the meme was good. I was enjoying it. But believe it or not, I kind of rode this meme to the ground. I don't like reusing memes again and again, but there was a point in me memeing this on Twitter where it kind of became a social experiment. I was curious to see how the internet would react to it because for whatever reason, posting spoilers is like the worst thing you can ever possibly do. You can outright slander people on the internet and people will just, you know, reply with a meme saying, this ain't it, chief. But God forbid, are you dropping a spoiler on an animated cartoon. So I always found that mentality to be a little funny. Not that I don't get it at all, but it's kind of wacky that that's how it turns out. So saying a character like Bakugo would die in My Hero Academia is the most far-fetched thing. And still, I went down the social experiment route after the trolley route, which I may or may not regret. I don't regret it, but I do feel like a bit of a hole for doing it. And the results of my findings are basically, you guys are absolutely awesome. The fan base that has subscribed or that follows me on Twitter are absolute mad lads. You guys actually blow my mind. Even the people that don't read My Hero Academia believe I'm kidding so much, they continue the meme in the reply and kept running with the most ridiculous My Hero Academia fake spoilers in order to A, let them know it's probably false, and B, not ruin the momentum of the meme. I was proud to see a lot of people not fall for this, and I was also kind of happy to see some people fall for it, not gonna lie. But that's just evil Nuxanor talking. In all, I very infrequently do a video like this, analyzing more of a 
mass community reaction than, you know, the anime itself. But I'm happy to step out of my comfort zone a little because, not gonna lie, I had an absolute blast doing this. I know, perhaps a little bit evil of me, but it was so fun. And in the end of the day, that's the number one criteria to me actually deciding to make a video on anything. If I'm gonna enjoy it, if I'm not gonna enjoy it, yeah, ain't gonna be getting top level quality. So I'm sorry. That's just how life works. I do what I want. You're happy. The ultimate symbiotic relationship here between YouTuber and YouTube. -y. So with that said and done, the moral takeaway of the story is a not just don't believe some of the things you see on the internet, but doubt everything you see on the internet. Run it through your own thought processes if it makes sense. Does it make sense for a YouTuber to ruin their credibility and spoil something major that happens in a manga? Does it make sense for this character to even die in the manga? And that's just examples of this ridiculously stupid obvious meme. Which, yes, since most normal people aren't cynical, sarcastic butt munches like I am, but actually carry normal individuals, you know, that would believe another human being just because, like, why would they lie to them? Yeah, obviously you can fall for it for a second or two, but in the future, doubt whatever you see. Think for yourself. The second moral of this video story. It is a lot of fun to be in on the memes. So, I mean, yes, I am about to emotionally manipulate you. Emotional manipulation warning. But it's a crap ton of fun to send the link to this video to any of your friends because it will pop up with the video title and thumbnail, which I paid an artist for. Link to Aaron Schmidt, the artist of the thumbnail in the description. The guy's a mad lad. And the reactions are absolute gold. So share this around with your friends, you know, for the good of society. And the third moral of this video, man, was it lame that Deku decided to give one for all to Mineta at the end of My Hero Academia season four. Smash like and subscribe. Have yourselves the most wonderful evening. And remember to stay weird, fam.